Gosh, if I could go back in time and give my younger self some careers advice, I would say to think really hard about um, what I enjoy doing, um, but also what I was good at. Um, because I think if you can find a job that you really love and that you're very good at, that's the sort of ideal combination. The other thing I'd probably say to my younger self is to keep my options open and particularly study and work hard at things like maths and science because I think the jobs of the future will probably revolve around those subjects. My career inspiration came from my teachers actually in primary school. Um, I had two particular favourite teachers, Mr Williams and Miss Jenkins, uh, who really loved teaching and they gave me a real um, desire to want to have the same impact on others that they had on me. Um, their teaching style meant that I really loved going to school and loved learning, so that's what really sort of started me thinking that I'd like to do a job where I could help people to learn more and be themselves and be a better themselves. My earliest memory probably was when Miss Jenkins was teaching me um, because she seemed to be so happy doing what she did and I loved lessons with her. Um, but actually getting to the point where I am now, it was probably when I started work um, and as a 16 year old working with lots of other young people, I really appreciated the impact that helping somebody to be better at what they do had and the importance of enjoying work. Um, most of us are going to have to work for quite a long time. <laughs> so it's really important that you um, have a real passion for what you do if you can. So finding a job that you're both good at and that you love doing is, is a real blessing. So it um, goes back to my point about keeping your options open really. The more options you have to yourself, the more likely you are to be able to find something that you really love doing. The National Apprenticeship Service uh, supports organisations like Skills London because they do a brilliant job of helping young people to really work out what it is they want to do. There are so many jobs out there now that I think the most important thing for young people is to really get exposed to as much as that as possible. And some, an organisation like Skills London allows them to do that. It gives them the opportunity to go and meet employers and to talk to them about the opportunities that are there and I see time and time again young people at these events really getting inspired about a job that they think could be brilliant for them.